I was um, during a Medscape session involved in um, discussing a couple of patients where there is uh, an extra need for adjuvant treatments. So these patients currently have been treated with standard chemotherapy, standard uh, endocrine treatment. And on top of that, we know that despite these good treatments, about 20% of the patients have a chance to relapse within the, 20, the first four to five years. So 20% develop a relapse. Now we have had several trials looking into how can we improve um, the outcome of these patients. And we have uh, a couple of trials that were positive, like the Monarch E study, clearly showing that if you have a high risk patient defined as having four or more positive lymph nodes, or one to three positive lymph nodes if they are grade three, or if they have a tumor larger than five centimeters, that these patients do benefit from adjuvant abemacyclib during a two years period following their treatment for breast cancer. So this led to an improvement of the uh, invasive disease-free survival and also the distant uh, disease-free survival with after five years of follow-up, and this was also updated during this meeting, uh, between six and seven percent for the uh, distant, uh, distant relapse rate and for the uh, disease-free survival uh, outcome. So this is a huge effect that some of these patients need this additional treatment. Another study, which is also positive with uh, less follow-up, is the Natalie trial, but we don't have uh, approval of this drug as of today. This is a study that was also um, um, put in as a late-breaking abstract during the mini oral session today. And there is a consistency that there is some benefit between all these groups by age, menopausal status, EI67. So we have to look uh, further into the future to see whether this is going to persist. And we expect new data during the upcoming San Antonio Breast Cancer Symposium. The second study that we had to consider during this uh, meeting was the Olympia trial, where patients with a BRCA mutated breast cancer could benefit from Olaparib. And Olaparib is a PARP inhibitor that is uh, very um, well known in these patients. And in the adjuvant setting where this was tested in these patients with a germline mutation, it clearly showed that there is a disease-free uh, survival benefit, also for distant survival, and recently found to have an overall survival benefit. So in some of these patients, they were also in 17% ER positive, HER2 negative. There is a benefit of Olaparib for one year, but if they are ER positive, HER2 negative, they really have to have a very high risk if they were treated in the neoadjuvant setting, they had to have a lot of residual disease. And if they were uh, not treated in the adjuvant setting by neoadjuvant setting, by surgery first, they had to have at least four positive lymph nodes.